my precious. Remember, once you get to that knuckle, get through that knuckle. See that knuckle? Keep it right tight to the pelvis. Right to the bone. Prime. I already got my loins out of the deer. I got the front legs cut off. I got all the neck meat going into burger. Now this is how I do it. I start and I trim it all off so I got a nice, we'll have to trim it up later, but the most of the majority of it, the, the white is off here, you know what I mean? There's three muscles here and you can almost pull them apart with your fingers here. A little bit of knife work in there. You see that peel right apart? You're standing in the light. It's a rainy day today, it's awful overcast. <laughs> There's your one piece of meat. burger. This is your roast and this is burger here. I always That's always burger for me. Some people eat that as steaks but flip it over get it setting right up on the knuckle here just like that. You can follow right down that bone. Stop there because you got this leg muscle here. Come right up around that leg muscle. See there, just like that. I'll have to trim this up later. Obviously, that'll have to all be trimmed. And that's all good steak meat, or you could do burger, or whatever you want with that. But just be careful and skim that off like that. Best you can without wasting meat. This is what I like too on the roast part here. Clean this up just a little bit. On the roast, stand it up on the backbone like so. Come around the knuckle like so. And just follow that bone. Scrape it, keep it right tight. Just like that. Get to the bottom, give it just a little wiggle. Just like that. Some burger there. Waste not, want not, man. You got the bone there just like that. You're pretty roast. Clean that up, like I said. <laughs> just run it around. You'll get that piece of leg meat there. Don't go too deep because it gets too much tendon on there. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth nothing. There's one leg down. Always keep your loin taunt. We always got this layer of skin and a lot of people always start from the top side and shave this way. Always do it like you're filleting a fish, like this is a fillet of fish, right? But not for McDonald's. Go down. You'll feel the skin. Give it a little shake. Keep it nice tight to that skin. Just like a fish. Just like a fish. Same thing, other side. Just like a fish. Well, I wasted a little bit there. Burger. Just like that, and it comes out nice and clean. See there?
what thickness you want your steaks, Rebar. Bucky, Steve-O, Chris, you got bacon? I got the beef. Now on the front quarters, these are a little trickier because there's not as much meat and just as much bone. You just trim it up so you got the majority of it clean. See the tallow? You just best you can. Keep it tight. This is an old buck. He was all dried out. This is uh, the third day he's been hanging. But the meat stayed nice and stiff and these cool nights helped us out a lot. So, now there's a bone right here along the front shoulder. That's what you not do not want to hit with a bow. Right, Dylan? Correct. Stay tight to that bone. See there? Now come along this side. And there's the true shoulder bone there. Just keep your knife right tight next to that. There's the end of your shoulder blade. Just like that. There is a little shave right here. I'll get that. See the little bit back side of the shoulder blade. Waste not, want not. Remember, guys, that's a sandwich right there. That is a sandwich. There's my burger pile so far. I'm gonna keep one roast off this beast. Then the rest is all burger. Like I said, you can just separate these right with your fingers. If you wanted to actually this is good steak meat right here if you cut this cross grain like this but seeing this was an older deer we're just gonna make him into burger he'll make some dang good chili what do you think flip it over hold him on his back knuckle remember and on that back knuckle follow that bone right to the bone down, make sure you don't get the leg meat. Just like that. Like I said, all this will need to be trimmed up a little bit. Flip it over the top bone again. That top knuckle right there, you follow that right around. Knives might be a little sharp in here in a second. All that bone. We'll shake at the bottom. Back to the loin. I want to show you guys this loin trick one more time. Keep your meat taunt. Pull tight. Down. Those are some nice loins. Oh my. Well guys, we got her all done. Now it's off to my buddies. We're gonna grind this burger all up and get her packaged. Just wanted to thank you for coming along as always. I hope you learned something, maybe you didn't, just as how the way I do it. And uh
Oh, I almost forgot. Are you getting them? <laughs>